Is it too late a year later? Of course, every situation depends on the fact of that situation. But the reality is we often don't recognize problems until we try to use that part of the brain. I've had accountants that can't multitask. We see on the top left, an accountant can't, multi can't work with five spreadsheets. Used to work with Sprite, now can't even open one. In the middle, on the top, a pilot didn't know he had lost his depth perception until he's trying to land a plane. The top right, a carpenter didn't recognize his visual spatial is totally off until he's trying to make cabinets. Bottom left, a chef can't sequence, can't put things together. It'll affect me. I couldn't be able. We can't do anything that we do. I we see in the middle, an attorney. If there's word finding and fluency, how are we ever going to handle depositions? How are we going to ever handle uh, juries? So what is mild? Mild calculator entry. That means this is, there's no injury until I use the number three key. So if I want to start using the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, do every kind of math, it's fine until I hit the number three key. What about a driver? Now this is a bit dramatic, but not so really when we look about these disconnections. He might be flawless at 200 miles an hour going counterclockwise around the Indy 500, making left turns counterclockwise. But he tries to drive home, make a right turn, he can't make a turn. We don't know what's broken until we use it. The same until we really look for it. Imagine a library with a million books. I'm not going to know if 200 of them were misshelved, stolen, burned, until I'm looking for them. If I'm looking for the history of Texas, I go sadly to this section and some of the books are all gone. A missing part of the brain, like missing a part of a library, go unnoticed until the moment you reach for it. And again, when you find this, think always tip of the iceberg. What you see is probably 10% of what is actually there. Again, almost done. I want to drive home that the brain really, we have to understand it. It's not like any other organ. It may take a while for us to really wrap our minds around this, but a life is taken when the brain is changed. My life is not taken even if you amputate a limb. It's tragic. My life is taken. I have a new life. So I want to show a few slides and we're done. These we're going to go through very quickly. Why? These are the hidden faces of TBI. I see this every day. If I, and why I show it, I, I like learning. We're doing two modes of discussion. One is a verbal, the other is visual. And I want to show the kind of pain and suffering and panic and terror that these patients have waking up every day and living like this. If I just say lack of concentration, I don't think it suffices. A picture's worth a thousand words. I want to go quickly through a few and recognize this is a prison to these patients. They can't get out of it. Poor workplace performance, write-ups, can't function. But that's the best they can do. It's not like they can, oh, I'll replace it. I'll be better tomorrow. No, they're panicked. They're worried their employer will discover this. I've had many patients. I've had patients break down in tears, understanding that they're trying to fake it. Because if they tell the employer they really don't know what they're doing, they're going to be fired or changed or demoted. I've had parents break down to me, tell me, their children think they don't care about them. It's not that they don't care. They can't remember their schedules. They can't remember their friends. But this is all we have. It's not like we can suddenly, we can go to the doc and they're going to weld them back together. 